Ambassador Angel uh, Losada Fernandez, it is a distinct honor for the Africa Center for Strategic Studies uh, to host you for this discussion on the Sahel. Welcome, welcome to Washington. Thank you, thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you, the African Center for Strategic Studies, to invite me. It's an honor for me also to be, to be here today and to support you in this action, which I think is very important for the knowledge of uh, the reality in Africa uh, to, the, to the big public. I think it's a very important role that you're playing also. Perfect, thank you very much. Uh, I think a good place to start would be on on the uh, on uh, on your mission as the EU uh, special representative to the Sahel, why is the Sahel region so important to the European Union? Mm -hmm. I always say that uh, from different point of view, but w w uh, first one is the security in the Sahel is also the security in, in Europe. We can see the influence, the strong influence that there is between Europe and the Sahel. Uh, we have not only uh, a matter of security, but there are questions of development. They even will dare even more. The development of Europe depends also in the future of the development of the Sahel, due to the incredible demographic growth that there is in this area, and due to the impact that they can have on, on Europe at long, at long, at long term. That's why the post of EU Special Representative for the Sahel has been created within the EU, because the EU is convinced of the importance of this region for the stability of Africa, for the stability of uh, Europe, and for, in general, world stability also. Interesting. Now, what, what priorities are you pursuing um, uh, in the Sahel uh, region? In the Sahel region, I mean, uh, the, the European, the uh, Europe, uh, the EU has approved what they call the, what we call the strategy. Um, the strategy of Europe actually was the first strategy approved for the Sahel in 2011. Today, as I said, we have more than 17 strategies, but Europe in 2011 approved a strategy based on one concept, the nexus between security and development. We don't have security without development. We don't have development without security. This is the, the center, I would say, or of, of uh, the strategy of the EU, which is mainly focused on five countries, uh, specifically Mauritania, Mali, Burkina, Niger, and Chad. And this is the purpose that they are pursuing. On top of that, of course, the EU has approved what they called a regional action plan to, um, to put in place this strategy, which, under, which uh, precise four priorities, mainly. Uh, these priorities, the first one is youth. And I said that about this demographic explosion that there is in the, in the area, the youth and their employment to help the youth people. Second is fight against radicalization. The third one is question of migration also. And the fourth one is more security oriented uh, as is border control and uh, fight against illicit traffic. These are the four main priority of the regional action plan of the EU, which has been adopted with the contribution of member states also, of course. When I talk, I always talk the EU and its member states, of course. Right. Perfect. Now, um, what, about, what about the African involvement? You say that there are 17 strategies. Uh, to what extent are African uh, partners are being involved uh, in uh, pursuing your priorities? Uh, I always say also that one of the main uh, concern or one of the main problems that there is is on top of the question of coordination as, as I said with the 17th strategy is the concept of appropriation. Uh, you're perfectly right. Uh, the first interested one are the African, the African countries, and these are the ones which must say which are their priorities. And we are supporting them, working with them together in these, in these, uh, in these uh, priorities. The Africans have decided at the highest level, the level of heads of state, to create, for instance, an organization which is called the G5. Uh, this organization, which has also the same nexus, security and development, uh, the EU, is supporting them very strongly and also its, mem its member state. Then the appropriation uh, is one of the main elements which is driving actually our action uh, towards the Sahel. Right. Now, in addition, to, in addition to what you're doing with the youth, with the development, uh, with security and stability, uh, what other actions uh, can the international community uh, play in order to support uh, the EU and African countries in what you're trying to do in the Sahel? Um, the, action, the actions that uh, the international community can play is, uh, I mean, to support uh, the action that the EU is, 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 putting, is putting in place. And you'll say, how can they do it? I mean, there are 
uh, these two big sectors, the sector of security and the sector of development. In the sector of uh, the security, the EU, for instance, has organized in Brussels a conference uh, for the financing of the joint force which has been decided to, which the heads of state of these five countries have decided to create. The EU won't uh, organize it and convene the whole international community and a lot of member states, a lot of states of the international community came, among them the, the, United, the United States of America were present this conference, which rose the quantity of more than 400 million uh, euros for the financing of the force. And the same thing on the other sector, in the development one. There's been an important conference also of the G5, uh, which has been organized in December last year, uh, which convene also a lot uh, the international community to raise an important quantity of uh, of some in order that the project of development were executed in the in the Sahel. Then it's not a question only of the EU. The EU uh, the EU is trying to to be like I said, but it's a problem of the whole international community. And the EU try to reassemble them and to work together with them for the benefits of the countries of the uh, uh, of this part of the world, which is um, unfortunately a uh, very affected area today with a lot of problems right. that they're facing. Right. Sounds like a very interesting case of uh, partnership. Uh, what, what lessons uh, are you learning uh, at present uh, that could be uh, of benefit uh, to other perhaps similar uh, situations uh, in other parts of uh, the continent and the world? So the lesson, the lesson that uh, the lesson that we are learning is that, as I said before, we come back to the same concept that uh, we cannot do anything by ourselves. Uh, we have to do it together. And this uh, partnership is not only a simple partnership; it's a strategic partnership because we are talking about something a long term. Uh, the situation in this area is so delicate with the rise of terrorism, with the problem of governance, with the, pro with the problem of, uh, of security, as we have seen the many attacks, uh, the, pro the problem of econ the economic problems uh, that this, con this country are, are facing. Then the main, the main lessons that uh, we learned from what we are doing is that alone we cannot do anything and we are trying to do it together with, 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 with all of them. That will be the first thing. And the second thing also, as I said before, um, there is not only the problem of appropriation, there is a problem of coordination. We need a more coordinated action. This is one of, um, among all the member states uh, and all the state of international community which are participating in this, in this interesting, in this fascinating pro uh, process which is taking place in, 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 this, in this area. Uh, we need a better communication with the population, to be closer to the population, always uh, defending the principles also that the EU and uh, the international community defends a, a question of human rights, of course. The question of gender is also a very important uh, question in, in the area. In the peace process, for instance, uh, where I participate as member of the mediation on behalf of the EU, as mediator on behalf of the EU in the peace, in the peace process, that's exactly what we, are, what we are learning. Appropriation, coordination, work to them in, in the defense of the big principle and the great principles, which is in the DNA, more or less, of the, of the EU and uh, of the, most of the member states in the, in the world, of course. And this is very interesting. Uh, Ambassador Fernandez, thank you so much for coming uh, to uh, the Africa Center for Strategic Studies to share your perspectives. We're very excited. Uh, we wish you all the best of luck in your, in your mission. And hopefully we would like to host you again uh, further down the road uh, in order to continue unpacking uh, some of the lessons that you're learning uh, in the field. It will be a great pleasure honor for me and thank you very much for this very kind invitation. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ambassador.